we were doing the electric field and we we'll, we we had seen the some of the properties of the electric field so we'll try to summarize it here under the heading characteristics of the electric field okay the characteristics of the electric field okay now we had seen that the electric field is given by by limit q tending to 0 f upon q correct so to test to test the electric field we should be bringing in as small a charge as possible okay to test the electric field we should be bringing we should bring as small as small a positive charge as possible as possible <clears throat> okay as small a positive charge as possible fine okay to test e okay do to test the electric field yes so, so the smallest positive charge that we know of is electron is the electron but, but theoretically speaking it should be as small as possible tending to zero but we know that we cannot bring in anything lesser than an electron so yes maybe an electron okay so that it does not distort so that the test charge this is called test charge the test charge doesn't destroy the the or doesn't disturb it will not disturb the electric field okay so it does not disturb the electric field <coughs> now we know that our e came out to be to be q upon 4 pi epsilon naught r square r cap right so we know that e is equal to this does the electric field is does the electric field is everywhere in space is everywhere in space normally we keep on drawing on a on a board on a paper so we have that somehow unknowingly a notion develops that it is a 2d field it is not okay it is not So continuing with that we say that the field has a so it has the same value at 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 distances which are it has the same magnitude at distances which are equal from the source charge right the electric field has the same magnitude same magnitude at a constant distance from the source charge thus 
does does the point charge has a spherical symmetry has a spherical symmetry okay it has a spherical symmetry fine and and something that we discussed in the last video that for a positive charge the electric field the electric field is directed radially outward radially outward while for a negative charge it is directed radially inward correct it is directed radially inward more of it will become clear when we actually go into the concept of electric field lines from here right we have just seen the electric field now we'll go to the concept of electric field lines okay <clears throat> Fine. Okay. 